Hey guys, what's up? MWK Sandman here. And I've got some very good news to bring you guys. First of all, okay, this part is gonna get a little creepy. Well, not as like creepy, but it's scary. It scares me and it also surprises me. Okay, so apparently in Bramwell's daydreams, Enterprise, my starship, Starship Enterprise, takes minor damage after a, after a major skirmish outside a solar system uh... fifteen light fifteen to twenty light years from earth because enterprise was attempting to defend the solar system by itself but then but well we weren't we weren't alone we had our sis, the sis our sister ship the other enterprise this one with a z And guess who was in command of it? Bramwell. Well, let's just say Enterprise with the Z didn't last much longer. They didn't know it at the time, but the entry mix ratio in their warp drive was so screwed over from the skirmish that when they jumped to warp they immediately had to jump right back out the warp bubble hadn't even formed yet and they had already caught and it had already caused a warp warp core breach meaning once that core is breached you have maybe five minutes no actually you have about three minutes to seal the breach or your ship goes <laughs> but anyways my enterprise wound up having to rescue his enterprise crew members and himself my enterprise sustained minor damage during the skirmish but when we were on en route back to earth apparently my enterprise sustained m extensive damage upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere despite having atmospheric shields basically emitter shield emitters that emit Earth's atmosphere around the hull of Enterprise basically I can we Enterprise will be able to travel at warp speed into Earth's atmosphere But anyways, once my Enterprise re-entered Earth's atmosphere, apparently, um, I s s apparently my Enterprise sustained a lot of damage. Multiple hull breaches. which we were able to seal using the emergency systems and well <sighs> apparently once in after enterprises entered orbit and descending to 50,000 meters to provide covering fire for allied forces um...
apparently Enterprise has to ascend to maximum possible altitude. Otherwise, we'll have an immediate. Otherwise, we would have an immediate core breach that would only give us about. We wouldn't have enough time to evacuate the ship. But luckily, according to Bramwell's uh, daydreams, my chief engineer managed to spot the in the issue he spotted it in time but not far enough but not but not far enough ahead so we could put us so we could seal the breach unfortunately I had to get in his in Bramwell's daydreams I had to make the ultimate sacrifice well in my opinion the ultimate sacrifice and scuttle enterprise because the technology aboard the starship my starship enterprise is so advanced our enemies would do anything to get their hands on it And also, according to Bramwell, after I ha after I am forced to scuttle Enterprise, I am so out of it because I had to destroy the one thing that I spent years designing and building, only to have to destroy it to prevent it from falling into enemy hands. And I was so upset that I was well Put it this way, Bramwell had to make all the decisions for me. Because that's how bad it was for me. But according to Bramwell, and thank God for this, Alea and Bramwell's, and Bram, my family and, and Bramwell's family. Both, well, all of them, took a shuttle pod or a shuttlecraft from from Enterprise's from my Enterprise's launch bay and went to Rokan, a planet that is. It's supposedly inhabited by our out by our allies. Well, while Bramwell's family and my family are are on Rokan, uh. Fleet Admiral, that summons, that, that calls Enterprise back to Earth to try to put a stop to the Third World War before it reaches a hot, before it reaches its climax. Well, um, apparently.
The Admiral is an old friend of mine. Uh, the Admiral makes a proposition that I must accept if we want, if I wanted to rebuild the Starship Enterprise and command it once again. He, the Admiral gave the pad to Bramwell, or the tablet to Bramwell. And about a week later, when I was much calmer and able to talk and have a conversation, Bramwell explained everything to me. And this is in his daydreams, of course. And apparently, I got I have been promo I had been promoted to admiral. And plans, f and an, uh, as an update to the information on the tablet, the adm the fleet admiral calls my qu quarters, and tells me that there that plans for a new Starship Enterprise are being drawn up. Well, as you could imagine, as you would probably imagine, I was happy to hear that. Because destroying the one the one ship I never wanted to have to destroy ruined me mentally. Anyways, according to Bramwell, six months after I've six months after my original Enterprise is scuttled, I'm called to, er, to Earth space dock to christen the new Enterprise as her captain. Everybody I know. was there with me me and Bramwell were up on the were on the christening platform as you can pretty much tell I be from that point up from that point forward I began identifying him as my first officer Although he, w although he is a captain, and I'm an admiral. Anyways, <laughs> um, once we've christened. A new enterprise. <laughs> we get, uh, well, more specifically, I get a communique from the Rokan system. Apparently, the Russians somehow managed to find the location of Rokan. despite Solar Fleet's efforts to hide it. Well, as you can as you would expect, I 
got immediate clearance from the fleet admiral and in less than 10 minutes actually less than 5 minutes Enterprise had cleared space dock and, and had already made the jump to maximum warp to get to the Rokan system and what do we find there? the Russians and an unknown enemy fleet two no two fleets side by side working together we don't know who these enemies are but we know if they're, that, that if they're that since they're working with since they're working with the Russians it can't be good so what does Enterprise do? Uh, well, let's just say the order I gave, I probably shouldn't have given. Because according to Bramwell, Um, Enterprise annihilates every single enemy starship, alien and Russian. And Enterprise barely has a scratch on her hull. Her shields have minor damage. But anyway, that's that's as far as he was able. That's as far as he was he was able to tell me with what time we had today at school. Anyways, here's the more important news. Today in third period, I asked Valet if she had read the note I gave her yesterday, and her response was this exactly. She smiled and nodded yes. I mean, literally, she was like, that's literally what she did with a smile. So, it appears that I am officially dating Alea. can't tell you how happy I can't tell you how happy I am between what I've the information I've learned from Bramwell and my relationship with Alea I cannot tell you guys how happy I am Anyways guys, thanks for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. I'm MWK Sandman, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Sandman out.